Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. I am Bolt Up, and today I will be playing the list that Vinny Fernandez took to a first place finish at the largest regional of all time, which was just happened in Charlotte. He was playing Lost Tina. So we'll look here at the list real quick. We have four Comfy, we have a Sableye, a Cram, a Radiant Greninja, and a 3 3 line of Giratina V and Giratina V Star. For the energy count, we have four Jets. Four psychic, three water, and three grass energy. And then for the trainer count, for the supporters, we have four Colrus, two Roxanne, one Avery. It's covered by my logo there, sorry. Um, one Avery, two bosses orders, and then for the items we have one counter catcher, four switch cart, four mirage gate, two poke gear, three nest ball, four battle VIP pass two super rods and then rounding out as four path to the peak so we're going to give this uh some play and see how it goes let's get into the videos all right while we're looking for a game just a reminder that i am a host of the king's rock podcast and we release that podcast every thursday so check that out wherever you get your podcasts and i also have a link to the podcast in the description below if you do enjoy the content please like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, any of that helps the channel grow, and all of that is very, very helpful for new channels like myself, so appreciate any help that you can provide. And perfect, just in time for a game. Let's see what we got going here. I'll uh, we'll call hits. <clears throat> it is Tails. I would have chose to go second, so I'm okay with my opponent going first. Starting out with Tina. Not a whole lot going. Uh, don't really know what my opponent has. Is this Charizard with the path to the peak? <clears throat> Not quite sure. Two mulligans, I will accept my two free cards. It is Charizard with the path to the peak. That's interesting. We do have a path in our hand, so I plan to drop that early. I did see a vacuum in their hand as well, so they do have the ability to, to bounce the path with the item. So I don't have much going for me here. I am going to Colrus. We'll see what we can get. From the Colrus, okay. Artisan will allow us to get a Comfy out there, which will be very helpful. That can get us three to the Lost Zone. <coughs> okay, let's go ahead and Colrus. There we go. Path to the Peak. Or, <laughs> sorry, Battle VIP Pass. I think I take the Greninja just to get more more cards going. Let's go ahead and Artisan. And we'll get a Comfy out there. Two, three. Do we have a world where we can get the, the cram attack off? I think so. Because we're at two in the zone now. <coughs> we can switch cart into a comfy. Let's pitch something. It's not great. <clears throat> okay. So we're sitting at three in the lost zone. So I think our only move here is to attach, retreat into the other comfy, and then hope that we get a switch cart off of this. <coughs> and that is not a switch cart. So 
so there's our turn one. Definitely could have gone better. We just did not have a way to to switch back into the cram to get that knockout on the Charmander. But the path is nice, forcing them to get a path bump before they can really do any damage either with Pidgeot or Charizard. So this should slow them down. Now that being said, I have thrown two paths away. Um, probably not the smartest move on my part. But I do have one other path, presumably, in the deck. <clears throat> I'm playing four. Okay. There with the Iono, looking for a path bump on their end. Tina V Star, Chorus. Okay. <clears throat> See what they have going. Got Mew. They're gonna be able to get to the active. <clears throat> Possibly digging for digging for a lost vacuum to bounce that. Oh, there we go. So they have the town store. Okay. Get there for a seal stone to attach to the Entei. And use that to look for the missing piece that they have. So uh, lost zoning the two paths is probably going to come back to bite me. Because I only have one path left now. <clears throat> okay. So they took the card and didn't do anything with it. Jet is good. Jet is very good. That puts me at five. I can go to seven, eight, possibly here. <clears throat> I think that's what I take. Let's go ahead and jet out the comfy. Try to dig a little deeper. Switch switch cart seems okay. <clears throat> Where am I at now? I'm eight in the zone. Six eighty one, two twenty is what that can the intake can get, right? Well, I guess I can't uh, do much anyway, so let's just retreat into the cram and get this first knockout. Let's go ahead and get that evolution out there, and let's get our first knockout. So if we can lost Star Requiem. If we can Star Requiem the Charizard they're building up here, we might be in okay shape. <clears throat> there we go, they got the second, another second, third Charmander. Second Charmander out there now. Two. <clears throat> okay, there are two on the Entei. That's okay. We can dig with Colrus again, then possibly knock out the Entei, and then maybe knock out the Charizard. 
with the Lost Impact and Star Requiem. And then we just need to take one more prize. Hoping at some point to do the Roxanne with the final pass. <clears throat> okay. Bossing that up to KO the Tina. I get it. We do have the switch cart. If we want to search one more time, and I think I do, because we're at eight, this will get us to nine. I've got a lot of energies in hand, don't I? Keep the boss. Let's see what I even have here. Okay, I do it my path. I do only have a water energy in the deck. <clears throat> hmm. Could get two prizes with Sableye. I could do that. Three energies in there. There's nothing great to try to stick in the active right now. Go ahead and do this. The water isn't great because they have the Manaphy. There's the Mirage Gate. Okay. So I can boss. <clears throat> I can boss KO the Charizard. Puts me at 327. So that's still not enough to knock out the Tina V Star. So I think that's my play. Oh shoot, I'm only nine. Dang it. I screwed that up. Um hmm. So I need one more of those. I think I'm fine. <clears throat> we do this. There we go. We select the switch cart. Now we're at ten. We can switch cart into this. Go here. Get those back in. And we're going to do that. Hmm. I had the counter capture active. That was a misplay. Could have counter captured instead of bossed, and that way I could have still coerced. So that was a mistake. Hopefully it won't cost us that much. Okay, two prizes, we got another switch cart. Need three prizes left. We do have the cram that we we can't switch cart. So this deck not playing switches, but playing switch carts is kind of rough to get the Tina out of the active. If they keep something like the Mew in the active, that's going to be rough because we'll have to lost impact and then reload again. Where switches. Switches would be valuable. 
<clears throat> then we could switch out of the Giratina into a Cram, get the knockout, and then have the, the Tina in the back still. But this is what Vinny won Charlotte with, so there's got to be some merit to it, right? Okay, loaded up another Charizard. Raihan to load it up again. Because I can't KO my Tina with a Zard. I probably should have just lost Impacted instead of Star Requiem. If I lost Impacted the Entei, then I still had would have the Star Requiem for the Zard. And what am I looking at trainer wise? One boss there. Okay. So I still have another bo another boss. Um I'm ahead in prizes, so I should have counter captured. That's the big thing. Is if I counter captured, then I would still have the boss available for the Pidgeot in this case. <clears throat> and then I could boss KO the Pidgeot with the lost impact. And then go down to one prize. So they're going to take me down to 10 HP on the Tina. Actually, you know, this isn't that bad. Because they're going to do that. I'm going to go to 27. I can. Lost impact. Him down to five. And then I get the final prize cards with Sableye. And if they don't knock out the Sableye, or if they knock out the Sableye, I'm still in good shape. So I think I'm fine. One energy there. Let's go ahead and see more cards. Okay. I'd like to get that path. Okay, we're gonna lost impact. Let's go one of each so we have the threat of that coming back. With that being my only prize two prizer, they still have to take three knockouts right now. Which is why I'm not even worrying about another Tina. <clears throat> I do have the Roxanne in the back if they get this knockout. I'm threatening Roxanne. The path is in those last four cards. Okay, there's the Iono. Which means should be getting a path right here. Nope. So the next card is a path. Avery is interesting. Okay. I do have the super rad. Played three switch cards. Let me 
mean, at this point, they knock out the Tina. Then the Avery is the play. Because I am a psychic energy away from winning. And I have... Well, if that gets knocked out, I'm going to route it back in. Just increase the chance of getting it. Because if I get it, I win. If I don't, I lose. <clears throat> well, actually, I can't, Avery. Okay, they're pulling that out of the active. Because if I Avery, they're just going to knock it away. So, Avery's not good. Can't Avery. Honestly, I don't know what my play is. Okay. So, there's the knockout there. I think I just pray. <clears throat> well, there's the path. Which I knew was coming. There's only one psychic left there. Okay. Let's rod that back in. There's the Psychic, but if they are smart, they're going to knock away that Zard. <clears throat> and then it, there goes my win. They knock away those two, the Zard and the Mew, and then they win. If they keep the Zard, they knock those two out. Okay, they kept the Zard. Interesting. I mean, I don't think I have a shot. I go here, I put five on there, and that leaves seven. Twenty-four. That's actually a possibility here. So we go here, we drop the path. And then lost mine. Five on there. Take these two prizes. And they're it. That's 17, right? No, I can't do math. That's 16. That's 16, which is enough for Shred. So if they have a boss, okay. <clears throat> There's the boss, okay. So that is the ball game, all right. Um, I think I would have been in better shape if I had played the counter catcher instead of the boss. I mean, that was definitely the correct play, and I, I messed up there. Um, it was close. This deck is really, really good, and just you, you need practice when you play this deck, and I don't have enough reps in with it, but I plan to get a lot more reps in to be a little more comfortable with this deck. But overall, I like it. I don't love the four switch cards. I think 2-2 two, two split with switch is probably better. But who am I to to uh, argue with the winner of the Charlotte Regionals? So there it was with Vinny's deck. Um, go ahead and give it a try, and I will continue playing as well. So good luck, and see you next time. <laughs>